what girl would let me stand on her like this, bro? What's the most stolen black word? White people stole hot a long time ago. Now hot means something different. That means you got a dirty dick or some shit, man. <laughs> White people are stealing black culture. Shout out to Love Allah, he a cool nigga. What do you get when a white guy turns gay? And stereotype. Well, that's a crazy way to start it off. A gay man that is sassy, I guess. I don't know, bro. Like, I don't know the fuck, dude. Typically, ghetto black woman. And what do you get when a white woman turns lesbian? An overly masculine and stereotypically ghetto black man. I mean, ever since Billie Eilish announced that she switched teams, you know, turned lesbian. She done turned into the albino soldier boy from the early 2000s. And no offense at all. But when did the LGBT community include transracial as an option, bro? And dear white people, don't just take this from me. One of y'all own kind said the exact same words. Why well, do white people immediately after coming out act? like the opposite gender but black you know billy Eilish came out and immediately started acting like a black like do rag white that is true i'm not, I, don't, I don't know about the coming out part i'm not tapped into the lgbt community i believe whatever they believe twitch i want to get my bag and shit man but look a lot of white people love stealing black culture when they want to do some shit different Peter, masculine lower their voice walk around like a thug Anything with like white gay men acting like black women and they immediately put on an accent and start like wearing long acrylic nails and putting hoops in their ears like and after seeing this video it kind of got me thinking white people are low-key having a huge hand in ruin modern day black culture i mean we all know what they did in the past but god damn it it's kind of repeating itself colonizers bro like p every black trend that starts is cool until the young 10 9 year old white boys bro i'm sorry y'all just make shit corny nothing racist but y'all just make shit corny man i ain't gonna lie phantom tax was funny as fuck until the white little eight-year-olds started saying that shit man i'm not gonna lie so today we're gonna talk about how some white people are low-key ruining hijacking current day black culture quick disclaimer this does not apply to all white people obviously don't try to wear the shoe if the shoe does not fit and if the shoe fits what can I say, brother? I don't know. Brief editor's note, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 50K. I appreciate it. Now let's get started. Hairstyles. For black people, hairstyles have been a significant part of black culture. We got box braids, regular braids, cornrows, two-strand twists, dreadlocks, all of the above. All of which have been massively stigmatized. By guess who? White people. Especially in the corporate world. If you come in with locks or certain braids out, you your cook, buddy. You look like a thug. And the white- Bro, why is everybody trying to get dressed now, bro? Everybody wants to have braids they want to have the afro with the braid combo bro they want to have a little doo-doo twist and shit that ladies gonna lock their car doors whenever you walk by now obviously that sucks but you know what sucks even more is that some of these styles have been taken in today's day and colonized by white people you might have heard of something called a twist out a twist out is essentially after you get your hair braided or twisted and you remove it and it has a curly pattern i could actually do it right now now imagine i did this for my whole head it would be pretty curly right well check this out because white people have created a new thing that looks oddly familiar we got mama mia hair congrats Congratulations, my guy. You yeah, I'm not gonna lie. They stole our flow with that shit. But it looks good, though. There's nothing wrong with curly hair. Just achieved the freshest looking twist out, my brother. Welcome to the black community. You're invited to the cookout. It's like I'm lying. That is the purest form of colonization and imperialization, if you ask me. They made edges into something called sticky bangs. Me and my sticky bangs against the world. So I've been doing this hairstyle for the past two days. I ain't gonna lie. That shit look awful. I know five ratchet hoes that will flame the shit out of her for that hairstyle. And I'm just a little bit upset. That don't These look good, bro. These might actually be sticky bangs. These ain't edges, I'll tell you that right now. If you're white and you're watching this video and you don't understand what I'm saying, here's how I would put it. Imagine you had the craziest recipe of green bean casserole. Everybody in the world said it was horrible. If you make this meal, you're not getting hired, and your entire family stood on business and continued and- Damn, nigga. What girl would let me stand on her like this, bro? Continued to make this dish. Until one day, everybody was like, hold on, this is not too bad. Actually, we're gonna take this all for ourselves. Y'all might feel some type of way, right? That's None? exactly how I would describe it. Ava, Angel, nigga, Ava is not letting me stand on her like that, bro. I will crush her. Nigga, I will crush Angel, too. That's gonna get clipped, bro. That's gonna get clipped. Fuck. Speech patterns. Now, everybody knows that there is a certain dialect that black people like to talk in called African-American vernacular English, Ebonics. Have you ever heard a person say ax instead of ask? Now, obviously, this type Zara, of speech is- Bro, you all know something crazy? Zara has a man now, bro. Zara deadass has a man. Steal her? Then I would have to cuff her, and I'm not cuffing Zara, bro. <laughs> Now it's ghetto, unprofessional, not real English. But recently on social media, a lot of these black terms have been colonized, bro. Like giat, for example, or unk. They turned giat into an acronym, bro. It means damn. It is an exclamation, all right? Like saying that somebody has a giat makes no sense. It makes me cringe inside, bro. And that's how I know the culture is in the wrong hands. See, these terms that are from African-American vernacular English are being turned into mainstream words and seen as slang. But it's not slang. It came from somewhere. It's not just made up TikTok words. These are words that have 
have been existing, been around, we've been using, we've been saying, and now recently popularized and turned into a whole new meaning. It essentially became a part of like meme culture, which is weird in itself. Bro, what's the most stolen black word? Yacht? Hot, cool, dope, word on me, all of those. White people stole hot a long time ago. Now hot means something different. That means you got a dirty dick or some shit, man. Unk is typically used for an elderly black man. Nowadays, everybody is being called unk, bro. You could be 20 years old and you're an unk. Clothing styles. When Jordan 1s originally came out, they were not loved universally. And over time, after hip hop culture, sneaker culture, Jordans quickly became one of the most loved shoes of all time. To a point where they eventually got uh, pirated by folks it's like this. It's definitely booty. <laughs> oh, me, yo. But white people don't. White people don't say booty no more, bro. That's like an unk ass saying in a white community. They don't say booty no more, nigga. Is who has I the guess though. Straight in a headlock right now. Now, I'm not trying to say that all resellers are white and white resellers are the problem. But what I am trying to say is that there is an oddly similar pattern when it comes to things being invented by black people, originally hated by white people, and then became loved by white people. It's, and she's I fine, low key. Hmm. I can point to a number of different things in fashion, like grills, like chains, like streetwear. Streetwear was also extremely synonymous with hip hop culture. And nowadays, you know, everybody of all colors be rocking it, which is not a problem in my opinion. But once again, you got to acknowledge where you got that from, recognize the history behind it, understand all the negative stereotypes around those styles, and be an advocate against it. Otherwise, your ass is just a cosplayer, because that is literally the difference. Bro, yo, fashion has been stolen in the black community, bro. Black people set all of the fashion trends, bro. White people didn't want to sack until niggas started doing it. White people didn't care about their shoes until niggas started caring. I'm not going to lie. But nowadays, I'm not going to lie. White people are starting their own little fashion trends now. I'm not going to lie. Like the uh, snapback hat, the little uh, multicolored shorts, and the uh, flannel or the polo shirts. I'm not going to lie, bro. That fit hard, bro. That's a white boy exclusive. That shit hard as hell. I'm not gonna lie. Y'all got that shit for sure. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Pretty bad ones. That's fire, bro. I don't care what y'all say. Between cultural appropriation and cultural appreciation. And listen up, because I don't understand why people don't act like cultural appropriation can't happen to black African Americans. Of course you think it's hard. It's, it, it, it is hard, bro. It has to be. That is Billy Bob's favorite outfit, you damn right. If you've seen chopsticks through somebody's head and a white lady wearing a kimono or a black dude wearing a sombrero, people acknowledge that as cultural appropriation. We need, we need to bring back the old West fits. Those were interracial. Yo. Nigga, if niggas started walk around, walking around in loose ass jeans, boots, and some fucking button down, open up button down shirts, and bro, with cowboy hats, we would change the game. I'm gonna start doing that sometimes, bro. That shit would be fire. Imagine if Kais and that and all the AMP and me started doing that shit, bro. We would set the trend for real, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Every day. Now, why is that any different than a white dude wearing grills, chains, Jordans, do rag with a snapback turned backwards? Now, another important question I want to ask, which I thought of when I saw the Billie Eilish picture. Correct me if I'm wrong, but would you agree that she is trying to present herself as masculine in some of these outfits? So, why is masculinity synonymous with Black American culture? Think about that for a second. Black men are viewed as hyper masculine, almost as not even human sometimes. You could say I'm reaching. Right we now. are. It's a conversation worth Nigga, having. Nigga, bro, Black men are like the strongest men in the world, bro. Well, invented by Black people, but they were taken over and. And today's day, we are seeing them as white genres. One thing I will never forget is how they try to take Lil Nas X Old Town Road and try to say that was not country. That had to be a race thing, bro. Now, out of all the genres that black people invented, I would say hip hop is the one that is still seen as a black genre, which even then has a lot of stereotypes against it. People make videos all the time talking about, oh, if you only listen to rap, this is a problem. If you only listen to rap, you're this, you're that. And those have some major racial implications behind them. I'm an idiot. Now, obviously, rap is not exclusive to black people. You got Eminem, you know, Jack Harlow's, and even... Po okay, P, I know I'm pausing. Do y'all think Jack Harlow actually makes good music? I identify Eminem and Jack Harlow as white boys that appeal to the black audience. There always needs to be that, like, one white or black guy that, like, appeals to the other different audience and shit. That's how the balancing shit works, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Post Malone used black people, black music, and black hairstyles to come up and then switch genres and become a full-blown country pop white artist, which nobody ever really seems to point out, but I'm on to you. The thing with some of these white artists is that some of them are able to portray their music. No, Jack Harlow is just fine. Angel, bro. God. Yo, Angel, why are you always so horny, bro? We were not talking about this nigga's looks. We was just talking about his music. Now you talk... Mm, God, Without man. really stealing black styles. Like, for example, Eminem. Eminem does not force a black sin, bro. But there are new artists like Ian, for example, who low-key 
he throws on a black set in their music. Fine, Even fire though. I'm not finna lie. I was trying low key. I wanted to hate on him because niggas was glazing him when ni- ni- when yo chat. My biggest flaw is when niggas are praising somebody. I just want to hate on them, bro. Especially if they're doing better than me. I'm sorry. I just got to say that shit. But look, peep game lock in low key. Then they got yo Ian's fire. Yo, his music is fire, bro. I'm not finna lie. Where you from? I'm Ian. I'm from St. Louis. And it's a little weird because the way he presents himself is like suburban kid. Good thing. Overall, with music, maybe I that's like why he's hating on Yo Yo. No, I'm hating on Yo Yo because he put his balls in my face, nigga. Of course, I'm gonna hate on that nigga, bro. You wanna know some crazy chat? I was going into a stream earlier before I streamed to support on some shit, nigga. As soon as I joined the stream, that nigga dissing me for no reason. Like, what, what did I do? He over here calling me an ugly ass nigga. For no reason. Are we finna just condone that? Like, yo, yo, what? Like, it's very important that we recognize where everything originated. As much as you might think rock music is some American genre that was invented by long-haired white dudes with tattoos all over their body, the origination can actually be traced all the way back to, like, Africa from back in the day. And I think white rappers are fine. I think as a white rapper, you gotta do your part into not being a culture vulture and actually advocating for the black community. I'm not out here telling you to be Martin Luther King Jr. or nothing, but dude, don't be a cosplayer. Overall, in conclusion, and this is just my opinion, so once again, don't take this as the opinion of all black people. To me, I would say white people have demeaned a lot of, lot of things. Jobs have been taken. Lives have been ruined and chopped. Women have been stereotyped and stigmatized and seen as trashy, ghetto, and obnoxious for some of these styles. Whether that's through hairstyles, clothing styles, music styles, speech patterns, and now all of a sudden, a lot of people who are white, but other races as well, are starting to steal the swag. And in my opinion, if you're gonna do that, you gotta one, acknowledge where, two, don't try to act like you did something new we pay respects to the people who did it before you bro i think if you do those three things i would say that is cultural appreciation versus cultural appropriation which again a lot of people seem to forget that black cloud we have something special together not you nigga american culture is not just american culture if you steal that it's the same thing as stealing something from the chinese stealing something from mexico etc but that was some ways that current day white people are ruining black culture let me know what you think in the comments below let me know anything else good video love hola